first kind of black magic is Sihar al tafriq which is called as magic of separation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned about this magic that two angels, Harut and Marut, came to the city of Babylon to teach black magic. But before they taught black magic, they say that uh, we are nothing but a trial, so don't get into kufr. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned about a magic to separate husband and wife. So this magic still exists today. And this is the greatest accomplishment for the shayateen and for the jinn to separate husband from his wife. And in a hadith, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the jinn from all over the world, they go to the head jinn and they give the report of what they did all the day. One shaitan says that he separated two brothers. He said, okay, that's fine. One shaitan says that I created a fitna, a trial, and uh, the chief says that's fine. But when a shaitan says that I created a fitna which resulted in a divorce between husband and wife, then the chief gives his seat and gives his you know, crown. This is the greatest accomplishment for the shayateen, for the jinn to separate husband and wife. So how to recognize if a person is under the influence of Sihar al -tafriq? The first symptom is there will be a sudden change in the attitude from love to hate. A person is normal and regular toward his wife, but all of a sudden his attitude begins to change all of a sudden. And then there will be a great deal of suspicion between husband and wife. And there will be no acceptance of excuses. If, if wife presents excuses, husband will never accept it. And if husband presents excuses, then wife will never accept it. And there will be exaggeration in the causes of disputes. For example, there was no salt in the food, but this insignificant issue becomes exaggerated and it results in a great dispute. And there will be the change in the mental image or the mental picture of both the spouses. For example, if the patient is husband, he sees his wife ugly. If the patient is wife, then she sees her husband ugly. And at the same time, a uh, victim hates anything the other party does. Anything the other party does, this will be hated much by the victim. And victim hates the place the other party stays in. For example, the husband is seated in the bedroom, then wife doesn't want to go there. So these are some of the symptoms of Sihar al-Tafriq, that is the magic of separation. Another major kind of black magic is Sihar al muhabba that is magic of love. Uh, some of the symptoms are excessive love and passion. They go to black magicians and they get a package kind of thing, I mean, six month package for 15,000, some kind of package the, the, the black magicians present. So they buy that package and uh, they do all sorts of evil stuff on that, I mean, the material or something they, they give to burn outside the house of the girl. And no sooner the boy burns it and no sooner the girl passes over it, she becomes a victim. Usually the wives who are insecure about their husbands and usually the wives who feel that their husbands may fall into any trap of any women that in that case uh, they go to the black magicians to get this magic done that is Sihr al-Muhabba. So there will be excessive love and passion between the two parties and blind obedience. So these are some of the symptoms of Sihr al-Muhabba. Another kind of black magic is Sihr al-Takhil that is false appearance of the objects especially the victims who are under the influence of this magic, they, they see the fixed objects moving. For example, I see the jug being static, but uh, if, if the person is under the influence of Sihr al-Takhil, he sees this jug moving from one direction to other. And at the same time, he would see the small objects appearing large. For example, this jug appears to me a, a huge drum. So the person who is under the influence of this magic sees small objects large and he sees false appearance of ropes as snakes and stationary objects as animals he sees in his house another kind of black magic is Sihr al junoon that is the magic of lunacy is usually performed on the person to make him mad and lunatic the symptoms are severe absent-mindedness and forgetfulness confused speech bulging of eyes and deviation of sight, restlessness, inability to do a task regularly. So usually the people affected with Sihar al Junoon cannot do their tasks regularly and disinterest in one's appearance. So these are some of the symptoms of Sihar al Junoon. Another kind of black magic is Sihar al Khumul, that is the magic to make a person lethargic. The symptoms are 
The person loves seclusion and constant silence and anti-social ability, absent-mindedness, frequent headaches and quietness and constant lethargy. So these are the symptoms of Sihr al-Khumul. Another kind of black magic is Sihr al-Hawatif that is a person sees bad dreams and hears voices from nowhere and the symptoms are experiencing nightmares and in dreams uh, he sees that someone is calling him and he hears voices while awake but cannot see I mean he's seated and someone calls him shh, shh, and it turns and no one's there so he hears voices while awake but cannot see and constant was was that is whispering and suspicion about friends and relatives and victim sees himself as falling from high place in the dreams and victim sees himself as being chased by the beasts and the beasts of prey in the dreams so these are the symptoms of sihr al hawatif bad dreams and hearing voices another kind of black magic is sihr al marv or the magic of illness and it's usually done on the person to make him constantly ill so the jinn occupy the place in the brain and it plays with the, the nervous system which is uh, you know responsible for the functioning of the body parts so there will be constant pain in one part of the body and there will be epilepsy and paralysis of one area of the patient's body and total paralysis and disability in one, uh, in one of the sense of organs so these are the symptoms of Sihr al marb another kind of black magic is Sihr al nazif that is bleeding following menses usually it's done on women so the women affected with this magic this kind of black magic they constantly bleed so they they stay in the that state of impurity so usually the jinn kicks the part which is responsible for bleeding another kind of black magic which is done to impede the marriage so the, some of the symptoms are make the victim uncomfortable about the proposal so for example the victim is boy so whatever proposal he gets he rejects it so he gets uncomfortable about any proposal if the victim is girl then she becomes uncomfortable about any kind of proposal and make the victim look ugly to the other part so for example uh, people have come to meet and to see the boy then he looks ugly uh, and sometimes the proposal looks ugly to the victim and occasional headaches severe tightness in the chest between asr and midnight and absent-mindedness anxiety during sleep occasional constant stomach aches and pain in the lower back so these are the symptoms of sihr of impeding marriage another kind of black magic which is called a sihr al rabt that is a kind of magic performed on men who get erection problems during love making so some of the symptoms are the spouse looks old and ugly to the victim and uh, he occasionally gets headaches and severe tightness in the chest between asr and midnight and absent-mindedness anxiety during sleep and pain in the lower back so these are the symptoms of sihr al -rabt. so these were some of the kinds of black magic major kinds of black magic now let's see the treatment i'll tell you a list of standard ayats from the quran which are called as the ruqya ayats and in all the major kinds of black magic or in any kind of black magic you recite these ayats over the patient and while reciting the jinn react and when the jinn starts speaking you ask the jinn about his name and his religion and the purpose for which he came he says that i like this person i love this person or in many cases he would say that someone xyz black magician has sent me to overpower this person and to trouble him so in these cases you keep reciting these ayahs over the person and you blow these ayahs over the water and you give the patient to drink this water and to wash himself with so the 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 ayahs are the first is surah al-fatiha and then you recite surah al-baqarah ayah 1 to 5 and ayah 102 163 164 255 and 285 and 286 and Surah Al Imran and Ayah 18 and 19, Surah Al Araf, Ayah 54 and 56, and Surah Al Araf, Ayah 117 and 122, and Surah Yunus, Ayah 81 and 82, and Surah Taha, Ayah 869, and Surah Al Mu'minun, Ayah 115 to 118, and Surah Al Safat, Ayah 1 to 10, and Surah Al Haqaf, Ayah 29 and 32, and Surah Al Rahman, Ayah 33 and 36, and Surah Al Hashr, Ayah 21 to 24, and 
dan surah Al-Jinn ayat 1 to 9, surah Ikhlas, surah Falak, surah Nas. So these ayats should be recited over the person and once you recite these ayats, you have to blow it over water. It should be recited in a way uh, by keeping the jug or the bottle close to your mouth. And once you recite it, blow it over the water and then give this water to the patient to drink and to wash himself with. And in most cases, jinn, they try to indulge you in discussions or the dialogues. I mean, don't get into discussions and dialogues. They love to put you into discussions and dialogues because more you talk, uh, less you recite the Quran. And less you recite the Quran, more they get powerful. You recite the ayats and you keep reciting the azan uh, on the patient. And this is the standard procedure. And based on the symptoms, you have to modify the set of ayats. So I'll tell you what to modify and what kind of magic. For a sihr of love, that is sihr al-muhabba, you have to omit Surah Al-Baqarah, Ayah, Ayah 102, with Surah Taghabun, Ayah 14 to 16. In case of sihr al-Takhil, that is false appearance of the objects, you have to recite Ayat al-Kursi, and announce azan at the place where the patient is seated. For example, the victim complains that he sees dogs in, in his house, he sees snakes in his house, and he complains that he has seen a tiger in his house. So that's actually due to sihr al-takhil. So you have to recite ayat al-kursi and announce azan at the place where the patient complains to see these animals. And uh, for sihr al-junun, you have to recite surah al-baqarah, surah hud, Surah Al-Hijr, Surah Safat, Surah Qaf, Surah Ar-Rahman, Surah Mulk, Surah Jinn, Surah Al-Ala, Surah Al-Zalzala, Surah Al-Humaza, Surah Al-Kafirun, Surah Al-Falq, Surah Al-Nas, two or three times a day for one complete month. And you may complain that I cannot recite it. In that case, you'll get a tape or audio file from internet at least two to three times a day for one complete month in the case of Sihr al-Junun if, if a person is lunatic. In case of Sihr al-Khumul, that is the magic of letharginess, uh, play and listen the audio tapes, one in the morning, one at Asr, and one at bedtime for 45 days. I repeat, play and listen the audio tapes, one in morning, one at Asr, and one at bedtime for 45 days. And that audio tape should contain Surah Al-Fatiha, Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah Al-Yaseen, uh, Surah Al-Imran, Surah Safat, Surah Al-Dukhan, Surah Al-Zariyat, Surah Al-Hashr, Surah Al-Ma'arij, Surah Al-Ghashiyah, Surah Al-Zalzala, Surah Al-Qariyah, and Surah Falak and Surah Nas. And in case of Sihr Al-Hawatif, that is nightmares and bad dreams, in that case, the patient should recite the supplications before going to bed, which you find in Hassan al-Muslim, and he has to recite Surah As-Safat in the morning and Ad-Dukhan before going to bed. And Surah As-Safat in the morning. The patient has to listen to Surah Al-Baqarah every three days. And reciting the last two ayats of Surah Al-Baqarah before going to bed. And listening to Surah Al-Fusilat, Surah Al-Fatah, Surah Al-Jinn three times a day. In case of Sihr Al-Mard, that is the magic of illness, the patient has to listen three times a day, Al-Fatiha, Ayat Al-Kursi, Ad-Dukhan, Al-Jinn, Surah Al-Falaq, Surah Al-Nas. And recite these surahs over black seed oil and rub over the patient. In case of Sihr Al-Nazif, that is constant bleeding in women, recite the standard set of Ruqya Ayats and advise the patient to wash her body for three days with that water and that water should not be drained in the washroom you have to you know drain the water somewhere where the people don't usually pass by in case of sihr of impeding marriage uh, we advise women to maintain hijab no music and songs in the house and wudu before going to bed and aital kursi to be recited before going to bed and listen to Ayat al-Kursi audio for 60 minutes every day. And al muwasitain that is Surah Falak and Surah Nas audio for 60 minutes. And we ask the patient to drink the water and to wash himself or herself with every three days with the water blown on with Ruqya. In case of Sihr al rabt that is the men who experience the erection problems due to magic, 
we ask them to get seven green jujube leaves and crush them between two stones and then add water to them and recite into it ayat al-kursi and the surahs that begin with kul that is surah al-ikhlas kafirun falak nas then take three sips of it then wash oneself with it and it will inshallah take away all the problems in his body and this is good for uh, a man who has been prevented from having intimate relationships with his wife this treatment is mentioned by ibn hajar al-asqalani in fatah al-bari by the will and by the leave of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if the patient is cured and if, if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives treatment and cure through you then in that case don't brag or don't glorify yourself instead glorify allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and praise him uh, for the recovery and then you advise the patient to observe salah in a group in jama and then you ask him not to listen to songs in the music and you ask him to be in the state of wudu as much as possible and recite ayat al-kursi before going to bed and you ask him to say bismillah before doing any task and you ask him to recite la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu lahu al-mulk wa lahu al-hamdu wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir 100 times a day and you ask him to read and recite uh, or listen to Quran every day and you ask him to be in the company of pious people and you ask him to observe morning and evening supplications which you find in Hisnul Muslim for the rest of Muslims.